So I, I leveled as a protection paladin, which is something, if things stay, stay the same, is something I don't think I will ever, ever put myself through again. Um, it was probably the worst leveling experience of my entire World of Warcraft career. Um, which I know what Dunn is going to say in this situation. He's going to say, well, that's your fault, isn't it? And I'm going to that, I'm going to say... What I was, what I was actually going to say, it sounds like a personal problem. Whatever, either way, your face is all, like, out of frame and whatnot right now. Um, but, it, like, look, I had this conversation with Dunn, at, like, in the leveling process, somewhere around, like... It didn't get too bad until about level 80, like halfway through level 87, when it took me like almost eight hours to get halfway into 87. I was like, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is the worst grinding, leveling experience I've ever had. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. And then Dunn is a, is a warlock. I'm a protection paladin. He's a warlock. Howitzer, you are a uh, paladin? Death Knight. death Knight, Death Knight. That's right. Yeah. So, but you're a DPS Death Knight, correct? Yeah. Okay, so here's the biggest thing. They're sitting here, they're like, it's not taking, I don't know what your problem is, it's not taking me that long. Like, we're killing moms like nobody's business, right? And I'm sitting here, you know, we had this whole, like, hour-long conversation. I'm pretty sure I still had at least one mob from the original group I had started killing at the beginning of this conversation that we were having. Like, that's, it's sort of a, a, a give and take, I guess, because as a protection paladin, I can sit there mount up on my horse, run around, grab every mob in the area, unmount, and then fight, you know, 20 to 30 mobs at a time, and be done that way. But it takes for bloody ever. And it just seemed like every single quest I came across was kill this many people and find this item. However, half of the find this item quests were... In order to find them, you had to kill people, and then some ridiculous pussy monk, panda monk, would come behind you and, like, search the bodies to find these things. And it was like the whole expansion leveling and quest-wise for me so far has been nothing but grind, 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 grind. Today, they just released the, uh, they just, not released, but they just uh, changed the justice gear to not require um, reputation with many of the factions. And the way that you had to gear up was either, A, go do your Golden Lotus dailies and then, you know, get everything done with your other reps, right? Today they've taken that away and you can't get Justice gear, so it helps a little bit in the gearing up for raids and things like that um, and heroics and whatnot. Uh, but the easiest way to do it, or at least the easiest way I had found to do it was, because uh, I hit 90 in Town Long Steps, instead of going to Dread Waste or Dead Waste or whatever. Um, so I didn't have, you know, Dread Waste gear. I had Town Long Steps and Kunlai Summit gear. So what I literally had to do was I went to the auction house and spent about 10,000 gold to get my eye level high enough to get into the heroics pretty much from the start. Because I didn't do any of the Dread Waste stuff. And I know there's a couple other ways that you can do that as well. But um, after the, the massive leveling grind of the leveling experience, there was no way I was going to go grind rep for any faction at all whatsoever. There's no way. I would have shot myself in the face. Um, I know that we have another friend that is kind of within our, our group of people. His name is Rioris. And he had he had some similar complaints <laughs> because he was a, he's a tank warrior. <coughs> My mouth's getting a little dry from all this talking. Uh, he was a tank warrior, and he, was, he sort of had similar... Uh, complaints about the leveling experience. Now, the whole point of this is you've heard my side of the argument. Number one, everything is a grind in this expansion. That's what it feels like to me as a protection pile. Everything is a grind, right? And then once you're done leveling, all they wanted you to do was go start your rep grinds, right? This is something that we got rid of after the Burning Crusade. No more rep grinds, right? No more go collect however many eggs for the Netherwing people. And what do we get when we get into Miss of Pandaria? What is that quest you guys are always bitching? Oh, that's right. Going to get eggs for the fucking Cloud Serpent people. So it's like this whole expansion, they've gone back to TBC with the whole grindy aspect of the game. And that's something we got away from because it was fucking terrible. 
So why now, after two expansions, Wrath and Cataclysm, have we gone back in Mr. Pandaria to the fucking grindy, ridiculous, slow leveling experiences and the ridiculous rep grinding that we saw in the Burning Crusade? Your counter arguments, sir. How would you want to start? Uh, yeah, because sure. I, uh, I've had this conversation too many times with Rioris, and I'll just yell at I would say, me and you and Rioris uh, have had many shout-outs sh shout at each other, and it hasn't always ended well. Uh, but basically, to give a little background for me and Dunn, uh, we leveled together from beginning to end, from 85 to 90, uh, 2 DPS, so, I mean, that's how come we didn't really see the grinding aspect, because it's 2 DPS, we were just mowing through those guys, and sure, I died a couple times trying to save Dunn, Although it wasn't always against, it was most of the times against my will trying to save Dunn. Um, I don't know when you say the grinding thing and the killing quest. I agree with you. I mean, for some of the clue ones, I know that I was on Skype with you, Pride, when you were doing the clue one. You're like, where do I find these goddamn clues? I can't find them. I'm like, oh, you got to kill the people, and then you get the clues. <laughs> and that's after killing all the people before that. And then you're like, oh, how do I get these items? I'm like, oh, yeah, go kill the people. And what was my response when you said that? Uh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> God <laughs> fucking damn it! I'm tired of killing everything! <laughs> killing everything. Mass genocide across the board. No one gets left alive. And, um... Uh, well, I, I mean, I'm that. personally fine with that. I'm fine uh, no, with that. I'm That's fine how with I like too, to play. It's totally a break and, of care. I'm a paladin, man. I'm not supposed to go committing mass genocide. You're a warlock, done. That's perfectly acceptable for your lifestyle choices. For me... How am I supposed to go commit mass genocide across an entire continent and then come back to the Church of the Holy Light and be like, oh, dear light, please forgive me and absolve me of all my sins, you know, the many sins. To, and be, the many fair, to be fair, a lot of the things you were killing were either the Shah or the Mantid. The Mantid, which are possessed by Shah, so the Shah. And, that might um, be a gripe for another day. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a whole different thing. But I will say this. Question's my fine, you just need to learn to play. No, but see, that's the thing. Like, it, it, like I was saying, it's a little bit, you know, hit and miss, I guess, or, or cut and dry. I don't know what the proper term would be. There's pros and cons. Like, number one, you guys died a lot. I died a lot. <laughs> he died a lot. You guys, okay. So half of you died a lot. And then <laughs> me, I died maybe once during the entire leveling experience. I think I was on Skype with you guys, and basically what happened was I was in, uh, what was that zone? Ned, I was doing the nesting wary deal, and I was doing the the Kodo or the yeah. I pulled like five groups of uh, five packs of those big Kodo things, the ones that just mm -hmm. like keep knocking you back. That was yeah. the only time I died this entire expansion. I died once. Fell off a cliff. Sarah fell off a cliff. <laughs> but um, so fucking women drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Dunn says fucking women drivers. I wasn't driving, I got pushed. Anyways, um, so the biggest thing was like, I never died, but it just took me forever to kill anything. So I guess I guess that's the pro and the con. The give and take. The give and the, the, give the take. And take. The pros and cons of living, or of what spec you take. For yeah. me, if I went tank spec, I would have had the same deal as you, whereas I wouldn't have died. But right. I wouldn't have been able to level as fast as I did. And this is my main argument. Sure, you could fix it, but my main thing is there's dual spec for a reason. Let's say I didn't like dying. I'll switch over to my dual spec for blood. You know, maybe I wouldn't have the gear, but still, the talents can almost keep you alive by itself. I'm sure if you just switch talents and kind of moves and rotation, you should be able to compensate for most of it. Gear isn't everything. Well, about halfway through, I, I had come, about halfway through, I had come to this conclusion that I was going to get I was going to stop getting tank gear from the quest rewards and start getting rep gear from the quest rewards. And then, for whatever reason, none of the quests were giving me any gear anymore. And that was I something did, that I noticed also. A lot of the quests didn't give gear. Yeah, and so like it was the upgrades were kind of few and far between. It was mostly whenever you started a new zone or were just about to end a zone, they would start giving you a little bit more gear. But yeah. in my experience, like, you know, I did this in the middle of a zone, in the middle of Kunlai Summit, where I'm, like, sitting there, and I'm not getting gear, so I can't go back and uh, and get all this gear. And I already knew I was going to have to spend quite a bit of money to get gear uh, when the thing I... Is, uh, the thing is, with that, most towns, in, there's at least one vendor per zone 
who sells gear of an eye level for that zone. Right, um, and right. This is uh, this is something I told to, uh, I said to Rioris on the, one of the many bouts, me yelling at him. He's like, "Oh, I don't like the leveling of a tank. It's a grind." And I'm like, "Well, it's because you're not killing the shit, so it feels like a grind." Like if you got a, if there's a thirty percent drop chance and you takes ten minutes to kill three dudes and only one drops, um, then it's gonna feel like a grind. Why don't you spend DPS? He's like, "I don't like DPS, and I don't have the gear." And I told him, "Well, look, if you were DPS." You kill the shield and gear from a vendor like forty five gold, that's like next to nothing. Another thing that would help, and like if even if Howie went blood, we were still in a party like the entire expansion, like leveling. Yeah. yeah. So if Howie was the tank, I could kill the shit. And he'd just keep it off me. So like so like go DPS, fucking group up, and the question's easy. It's all of which is available in the game. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um like I mean not necessarily the case with you, but Rioris. Like, ah, oh, Blizz need to change it so it suits me. Blizz don't need to do fucking anything. No, I don't think that Blizzard needs to change anything. Well, I do, but I don't think they need to change anything specifically for my case. I just feel that even if I wasn't a tank, it would still be a bit grindy. I think that the quest design, this expansion, was all about the grind. And I think that, you know, with the return of the reputations and whatnot, although, like I said, they did make a little bit of an improvement by removing the, the fact that you needed those uh, reputations... For justice uh, gear. For the justice, yeah. I agree with that just because I'm planning a monk ult and yeah. just the thought. I mean, I've, I'm going to do it at least once. And my warlock, my warlock will eventually, by the end of Mr. Pandari, be exalted with every faction. Right, of course, yeah. of course. I mean, that's natural. That. That's something natural that you want to do. Uh, but especially for like the quest rewards and things like that, or the, the reputation rewards and things yeah, like that. Uh, but do I want to do it twice? No, absolutely probably not. not. So, uh, <laughs> probably not, so... But again, like I said, even if I wasn't a tank, I still feel that like this whole expansion has been about the grind, and I think we got away from that in TBC for a good reason. It's because it was fucking terrible, and I don't understand why we've kind of gone back to that grindy aspect of the game, that grindy quest design where you got to kill this many, and then you got to get... But it's always like you had to kill something to get almost everything that you needed. Like, there was no quest... There were very few quests that I found that were, you know go collect this and they're on the ground. I mean, there were some, but most of it had to, in my opinion, and this may just be because I have a cynical viewpoint on it because I'm a tank, and it was basically like committing very, very slow suicide while you were leveling, um, that I get this sort of cynical view on it. But it literally felt like everything was um, a grind, and it was, it was extremely, extremely annoying. To me personally, and and now on your case of the whole, you know, why didn't you go red or whatever? I, I like I said, I, I actually had that sort of plan, but it just never really came down. Came to. Yeah. I I have heard. And Sarah has America. sent me. Sarah has has handed me a sticky note. Um, she would like to say that she felt there was no lore in the quests. I disagree Whoa. with that. Whoa! I disagree with that. There was a ton of lore in the quests. Sarah's over here doing this. Very little. I found a ton of lore in the quest. I learned so much stuff from questing. Yeah, but I, I, I learned a lot. Like, I mean, Sorry. even in like the heroic dungeons, me and Howie were doing Remember, a dungeon like, the other day. In, like um, cataclysm and rat stuff. I can't hear you guys because he has a headset on. Yeah, um, yeah. We well, <laughs> pass on that we can hear her. Quests and, were interactive. Fine. It was you get to see some of the lore. You got to understand it. And this time, all you had to. <laughs> All you had to do was pretty much read the quest, and people don't read the quests anymore. I do. So the only what one game, that was what memorable. Game are you this, what for game are you playing? This was when you got like the kung Sarah's fu, like breaking more. the wood and this, stone this will not and metal stand. or whatnot. Not... The rest of it, it was just kind of like you saying, kill shit, collect shit, you're done. So. But there was still a lot of lore. Dunn says this will not stand, but I, I, I would disagree. There was a ton of lore. I don't know. So, how about you guys do this? How about we do this? How about you guys in the comments tell us what you thought? Was the leveling experience fun? Was it too much of a grind? What did you level as? Uh, and and how bad am I for leveling as a protection paladin? Although I will say this, there's a protection paladins or, or leveling as a tank. Period. Okay. Few and far between, and I think that we should get an achievement of our own for doing it. Right. Totally leveled as a druid tank. That's a druid tank, though. That doesn't count. That's not a real tank. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna flick you in your. That's head. not a real tank. Druids are I'll not flick you real tanks. As a final point, I'd just like to make, say like nice the comments. Fun. You said that TBC sucked, and the comments are just gonna be angry. No, I thought it was a really good expansion. I thought it was a really good expansion. I just didn't like the quest design of of the Burning Crusade so much, and it wasn't near. But that's the thing. Like Mr. Pandaria was so much worse than the Burning Crusade. I'm just using that as like. That was like the closest expansion I felt in it's terms of the I quest do. design. The guys have already left the angry comments. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, anyways, tell us in the comments below what you guys thought. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I still think I should get an achievement for leveling the entire way as a protection paladin. It took me, took me four days. I didn't, I didn't, what day did I hit 90? Wednesday? Thursday? Of last week? Something like that. No, well... I think it was I think it was Friday night. I hit I hit ninety like Friday night. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Tell us what tell us what you think.